hey guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video so in this video we struggle a lot we're using we are going for a natural look it ends up very glam we are going to do a wink liner which was not my intention we are doing um like a smoky kind of cut crease which was also not my intention um but i messed it up but on the same time girl you know like girl can i really mess up though <laughs> If you are wondering how I created this look, then keep on watching. So as you can see, I've already applied my foundation, concealer, and I did my brows. I think that was it, right? Yeah. So if you're wondering what I've used on my face, I'm going to link everything as usual in the description box below. Um, so we're moving on. I actually wanted to do the blush and the bronzer and the highlighter as well. But I have a new highlighter and I really want to like show you that on camera because I've used it a little bit on my hand and oh my god. It was so 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 good in today's video i was thinking of doing a second look with the i love Surrey, uh dose of colors collection because the first one was personally i really liked it but it was quite like on the heavy side but i understand it's a little bit like it's very very glam and it's very smoky so i thought you know what i'm going to do like tone it down a little bit um so i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet but you saw these two beautiful colors in my uh, previous video so i will leave that for now and i'm going to work with other colors and i was thinking about i'm rambling too much again i know i know but i was thinking about using this highlighter too but since you've already seen how gorgeous this is, I think I'm going to use another highlighter. But I am rambling too much again, so let's just start with the makeup. So on my eyes, I have Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm not going to powder it because I want the eyeshadow to really stick on my eyelids. I'm going to use this beautiful coral color, as you can see. And I am going to put this on my, almost on my whole eyelid. Um, towards my brow I actually really love this color at first it kind of looks like a color that you've seen before on the same time it's actually a very unique color see how easy this is to blend it's like buttery so as you guys know cut creases are not my favorite type of looks but i think about doing a cut crease because i love a very soft cut crease and since this color is not like into your face it's not going to look harsh so i'm going to try to do a cut crease with the pro long wear concealer from mac and let's hope this goes well because i'm already because i'm always very scared and excited at the same time to do a cut crease so so taking a flat brush and i believe this one is from the old collection of giorgio armani I am going to cut the crease does it look good oh my god this is so I'm sweating mm, I think it has to go a little higher here okay. so let's powder this real quick I don't want to look up because I don't want to ruin this but I am applying Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie Translucent Powder on top of the concealer. Like this. And now I'm going to use this shade right here, which is a beautiful like brownish chocolate shade. And I'm going to apply this on the outer corners and, you know, blend it a little bit more towards the cut crease i think this is quite a good cut crease but i always manage to do one really good cut crease and then this one looks or this one looks beautiful and this one too but they are very asymmetrical so wish me luck you guys so i'm taking my bh cosmetics brush in number five let's blend this into the cut crease. I'm taking my uh, Morphe brush in M433 and I am going to blend this brown shadow a little bit more towards the crease but also a little bit more above the crease. Okay and now I think I'm not going to use gold because you know I just want this look to be very 
clean. Um, so I'm going to use this shade instead, which is a beautiful, oh, look at the mess on my hand, but it's a beautiful, like, cool toned, I don't know how to explain it, like a beautiful silver champagne color. And I'm going to put that on my whole um, eyelid where you can see the cut crease. So I'm taking my, what is it, tight line brush from Urban Decay and I'm going to spray it with some Mario Badescu because I want this uh, inner corner to be like super shiny. Taking this corally color, colory color again, peachy color, um, I'm going to fade this a little bit more. So we have this nice blend going on, but just very, very light handed, almost as if it's not really there. I am actually pretty much going to do the same on my lower lash line. I'm going to make this darker with this beautiful brown color and then corally, more coral towards the inside of the eye. So let's go and do that. You can see this eyeshadow, it's actually pretty dark, but it has no fallouts. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye as well, which is going to take me a minute, but I will be right back. Okay, so I did the other eye as well. I think the cut creases look pretty okay, but I'm not sure if it's symmetrical, but you know what? I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. And now... Let me just fix this real quick. Mm, this one's going a little bit more down. Okay, now I'm going to use Artist of Makeup in our Extreme Art Liner Pen and I'm going to um, do an eyeliner, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do a wing. Okay, so I did a wing. Not sure why. Ooh, that's a bold wing, but I don't think it looks... This was going to... Oh, this was supposed to look natural. Okay, so we have a wing. I feel like my eyes completely changed. They look very round. Um, so for the eye pencil, I'm going to use a Whiskey by Urban Decay. And I'm going to darken up my um, lower lash line. Okay, this was supposed to be a natural look, but please don't judge because I'm just, I'm just, I can't do anything about it. So I'm going to apply Miami Lashes from Lily Lashes off camera, and then we'll do the rest of the face, and I can't wait to show you this new highlighter, which is bomb looking. So we'll be right back. So the lashes are applied, and I feel so weird not having anything on my face, like bronzer or some sort of contrast or definition so i think that's why i don't like this look so far but maybe i will like it uh, eventually with the bronzer and highlighter and so on so i took the beach bronzer from urban decay cosmetics in the shade bronzed and my elsa makeup i think oh i don't know i think it's called elsa makeup blush brush but i'm not sure you see i don't do cut creases often so i'm completely like confused when it comes to my order of doing makeup so i never do my eyes completely and then my face later what's wrong with me oh my god finally finally we see some definition now the exciting part because i'm going to use a highlighter which is like seriously blinding this is the jlo inglot uh collaboration and this is the loose highlighter in living the highlight living the vita luca i'm taking my makeup addiction brush in precision highlighter and make sure you don't put too much on your brush because it's so pigmented you see oh my god Oh, this looks so good. Finally, like, hopefully this look will come together with a little bit of highlight. Well, lots of highlight. Can we take a moment to appreciate this highlighter? But you know, it's J-Lo, so it has to be, like, blinding. You know, everyone's talking about the J-Lo glow. It will be weird 
if it was just a normal highlighter, right? A nice glow. Oh my god, finally I feel like myself now because I was, hello, what's wrong with this look? But we just needed some definition. We just needed a lot of glow. Um, so I'm going to use the California blush from Benefit on my cheeks with the same brush. I think I pronounce her name, like artist name, really weird. I love Sarai. I think the R must be like R, right? Because she's Mexican. But um, I was going to, actually, I wanted to use a bright color of her collection. But I thought I was going to do something natural. It turned out something really heavy and glam. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to use something natural from her collection, which I haven't used before. So I'm going to combine a peachy liquid lipstick with a barely there gloss and, or maybe this on its own looks also pretty, but mwah. feels not big. Okay, so I just put a little bit of peachy on my lower uh, lip, but looks more orange on me what do you think guys mm, I think this is going to look too peachy so I'm just going to put this gloss I'm going to wipe this off and put barely there with a nice lip liner so I'm going to use this lip liner It's from Flormar in the shade two uh, number two neutral Okay, so now we're going in with the gloss, barely there. Oh, this gloss is so pretty. Oh my god, this gloss is just pretty on its own. Look at that. So that is pretty much it for this look, you guys. I think I managed it to make something out of it, but usually, you know... <laughs> um usually i actually don't mess up so if you actually if you look at all of my other videos i always say i don't know what it's going to look like and it looks like uh, everyone i think at the half of the video everyone's like oh this girl's a mess she can't do makeup whatever and then the end result is like bam in your face and it was like wait a second like wait a second i know girl i know <laughs> well the thing is i usually don't like to do cut creases no i like to do cut creases because i think they look beautiful on someone else and I think it's just, I have so much respect for people who can do a perfect cut crease. Um, but for some reason, I don't think it really does something for me. It's just a cut crease, but it doesn't give my eyes a more, I don't know, like a sultry look or a wide look or an open look. So sometimes, you know, some trends on, you know, not only on Instagram, but some trend, trends in the makeup industry, um, you can follow them, but it doesn't mean that it's going to look good on you as well so if a wing liner doesn't look good on you team d -Long. um well that's okay just go for whatever works on you and but you know i like to vary a little bit and do some cut creases but let me know if you think like stick to your own sultry smoky looks or maybe someone is subscribed to my channel and who really loves doing and watching cut crease uh, tutorials well you know i have to like stick up for you too you know although i really love to do oh i actually Girls, I actually do love this look. Mm. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my other social channels. See you in my next video. Bye.